Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Romani here. Um, I know it's the day after your procedure, so I hope you had a good night's rest. Um, I am actually two weeks off my procedure now, and I thought I'd make a video covering uh, what the last couple of weeks have been like for me, as well as uh, the following weeks to come, just so you have an overview of like what we're gonna be doing. So um, as you know, yesterday, we were really just kind of taking a little bit of rest. We were being very careful of our graphs. Uh, today on day one, we're gonna continue a lot of that same activity. Uh, really just be working around the house, maybe working from a computer, no real exertion going on, no exercise, no sweating, no straining. Um, but obviously you can get back to work. Um, you can actually shower today as long as you don't get your um, graphs wet. Um, just showering the rest of your body, maybe using a washcloth on your face. Um, also on day one, we're really going to be trying to come back off the pain medication like in the main day one video uh, we talked about. Um, just kind of follow this instruction. On day two, um, I actually got to pick up my activity a little bit more. I was off my pain medication. Uh, day two, we're gonna actually remove the dressing. Um, we're actually gonna get in the shower and we're gonna wash our newly inserted hairs uh, with soapy water. Um, uh, the rest of my head, um, including where the hairs were taken out of, I just shower normally using the Baby and Baby, uh, Johnson Johnson Baby Shampoo. Um, I, my pain was controlled on day two, but uh, the nice thing about day two, if your pain's not controlled, you can actually go on to NSAIDs. That's the Aleve's, Bayer's, um, and uh, medications that have a little bit more oomph to them than, uh, than Tylenol itself. So we want you off the narcotic, uh, at least by day two. Um, also on day two, you can actually start with some light exercise. Uh, light exercise means no sweating, no straining, but you can do stuff around the house. You can go on a walk, maybe in the jaw, just don't sweat, don't strain. That's kind of like the level of what you want to get to. Um, everyone has a different, um, obviously, uh, physical exertion level, but that's a good cutoff for everyone. No sweat, no strain. Moving on to day five now, um, we're going to actually advance our showering one more time. Uh, instead of using soap and water, we're going to actually lather the soap on our fingertips. We're just going to down on our graphs, and we're going to actually um, keep them clean with that method. Again, for the rest of my head, including the hair collection site, I'm going to shower normally just with the Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo. Also on day five, we can start wearing a cap. We have a video on how to wear a cap. That cap allows you to go out into direct sunlight. You just want a cap that has pretty good uh, opacity to it that's gonna protect the sun from getting to your scalp. Also on day five, you're gonna be sleeping in a normal position. No more, no more need for the airplane pillow, no more need for elevation. Um, you're just gonna be uh, all good, ready to go. Um, also on day five, we're going to advance to moderate exercise. Uh, that means that you can sweat, you can strain, so no bearing down, no raising your blood pressure, but obviously going on a, on a light jog or a light run, um, whatever um, is normal for you, unless it's kind of moderate activity. Day 10, um, a little bit more advancement in activity. We're actually going to start taking showers normally. Uh, we'll probably still use the Baby, baby Johnson shampoo just because it's mild. Uh, but you actually will be able to wash your graphs. We just won't be scratching. It'll be a little gentle, but yeah, you'll be able to take a normal shower on the day, and that'll be really nice. Um, you can also advance to regular exercise in day 10. That means uh, sweating and straining is fine. Uh, there's a limit to the amount of straining. We're actually not going to go to extreme levels. We're not going to sprint. We're not going to lift power weights. We're not going to heavy weights. Um, it's just a, a normal, regular exercise routine for yourself. Just keep your blood pressure down. That's the overall goal. Around day 14, uh, we'll actually see each other in the clinic. Um, we'll take a look at your graphs. If you are part of our kind of normal track, we're gonna cut your hair for the first time. We're gonna get all the crust cleaned out so you feel nice and fresh. Um, we will also start prescribing your, your maintenance therapy at two weeks, uh, but it's not until the three week mark that you're going to start using them. So let's go over three weeks out now. Um, the first thing I just said, you can actually start your maintenance therapies back. So uh, the finasterides, the minoxidils, um, the laser caps. Um, if you're getting PRP, we wait till the six week mark, but those other maintenance therapies are gonna go back to. Um, you can get haircuts. You know, you just can't shave, you can't color, you can't curl, you can't heat your hair at the three week mark. Um, but using basic combs, brushes, uh, using uh, over the counter medicated shampoos like head and shoulders is totally fine. You can also start wearing uh, stay in hair products like the gels and the mousses. And also what's nice is you can actually start wearing sunscreen. Um, but sunscreen allows you to go in direct sunlight. Um, as you guys know, like with a little bit less hair coverage, you can sunburn pretty easily. So it's really nice just to protect your, uh, 
your grafts and your scalp uh, for sun damage, although it's a little likelihood that they'll actually get hurt by the sun, but just to, uh, please wear sunscreen if you can when you go out. At three weeks, uh, you're back to a full-blown exercise. This is as intense as you want to get. You can sprint, you can do interval training, you can wear, do weights, powerlifting, whatever it is that you do, um, you're free and clear um, at the three-week mark to go through. So it's a really nice um, kind of um, point where things are just almost totally back to normal. Um, at the six week mark, um, we are going to allow you to do pretty much anything you want with your hair. Um, that is curling it, heating it, coloring it, um, shaving it. Um, that is all totally fine at the six week mark. Um, just really quickly, I'm going to go back. Whenever I talk about the hair where we want to be safe, it's usually the newly inserted hair. So the area where we're collecting your hair from um, is relatively safe to start doing most things at day two. So uh, don't worry about that, uh, that area itself. But hopefully um, that helps outline what the next six weeks look like in terms of your activity.